I just had a fantastic weekend out with my kids. We were camping, uh, we did some canoeing, uh, frisbee golf, all kinds of just amazing stuff. We had a blast. Met a bunch of awesome people that were here camping also and visiting this park. And um, you know, whenever I talk to people and they see that I'm doing videos and things, one of the things they ask me is, okay, we get the science part, but why 252? Science 252, what does that mean? Well, I tell them 252 references the scripture verse Proverbs 25 2 which basically says it's the glory of God to hide something and to discover that thing that's the glory of Kings so the whole idea of 252 is that we get out and we explore God's creation and just see the things that he's hidden in the stuff that he's created and uh, well maybe it's better if I just show you come on so in the park where we were staying there's this amazing creek. This is the one that we canoed on. And then there's another side creek that goes off the side. So animals are often attracted to water. That's where they spend a lot of their lives is around the water sources. So let's just hike here and see what we find. Hmm. This is what I'm talking about. You keep your eyes open and all of a sudden you find cool stuff like this. This is a part of the bill of a skull of a, maybe a mallard. It doesn't look really big enough for the, for the geese that we have around here. We have a bunch of geese and other things, but uh, it doesn't look that big. So I'm guessing it's one of the mallards around here. So unfortunately, Met is in, but so mallard, pretty cool. Muddy creek sides are an amazing place to come and search for signs of animals. And if you look right here, you can see there is very clearly some duck prints. Another one right behind it. So we've had some duck that have walked up here. And it looks like somebody was walking their dog. This feather and big white splashes of splay tell me that there was a great blue heron around. This is one of the flight feathers uh, one of the primary flight feathers from their right wing. Uh, just an, anything that big, that's got to be something like a great blue heron. Largest of the wading birds in North America. Thing stands four and a half feet tall. A beautiful, beautiful bird. Now here's something really, really awesome. Check this out. This big, huge mud slide right here with lots of little toe prints and claw prints all digging in right here. This is the spot where otter are going to be coming in and out of this river. As a matter of fact, right up here, there's a place where they've been digging around and, uh, and messing with the dirt and messing around. And you can see where they slid into the water. Otter slides. That's awesome. In just a short walk down the river, we've seen a lot of amazing things. Let's head into the forest and see what we can find there. Oh yeah, and right here on the trail, a big pile of, of uh, looks like raccoon poo. This was a big one too, and he's been eating seeds. I have no idea what kind of seeds those are. But he's been eating lots and lots of seed. There's a little bit of fur in this. It's got some dark color, which usually means meat. So he's probably scavenged something and has been eating seeds. Yeah, raccoons, they'll eat anything. And here, I'm following along, if you can see it. Right in here, goes like that, goes around, cuts back up into there. This right here, there's been an armadillo that's been just rooting through the leaves, pushing up almost like a mole would tunnel through sand. Here's a whole armadillo trail. I found a turkey feather. <laughs> A dead woodpecker. Actually, 
Huh. That's a yellow belly sap sucker. You never want to find this. This is just sad. This is a yellow belly sap sucker. It's a male. Uh, you can see the yellow on the plumage, on the belly. Um, these guys will actually peck. If you've ever seen trees, uh, matter of fact, I think there's one right here. If you've ever seen trees that have just rows and rows of little holes in them, uh, those are the sap suckers. They'll actually drill these little wells. They'll drill these little wells in there. And what they're doing by drilling these wells is they actually come back and they will drink the sap. Uh, sometimes they get a few insects with it, other things, uh, but they will, they will drill those and that's what they get for their food. Uh, these are in the woodpecker family. Uh, their feet are very interesting. You can see how they have uh, one of their they have two toes facing forward and they have two toes facing backward, the little tiny one and the big one. That's what enables them to, to grab hold of the side uh, grab hold of the side of a uh, of a tree so they can latch onto it and hang on. And these tail feathers, uh, these tail feathers are really, really stiff. They're very difficult to bend. So when they grab hold of a tree like this, they use those tail feathers to prop them up and keep them from falling over. Um, cool thing about this bird right here, about the sap sucker, is this is the most migratory species of woodpecker that we have here in North America. They will breed all the way up in Alaska and North, Northern Canada, and they'll go down sometimes as far as Panama in the, in the winter time. Uh, it's the largest breeding range of any of these woodpeckers, or largest free, I mean, migratory range of any of these woodpeckers. They're just amazing animals, but, well, buddy, I think, I think your migratory days are over. Anyway, yellow belly sapsucker. What a shame, what a shame. <laughs> and check this out. This is amazing. Can you see it? Do you see it? It's right here. It's right here. Notice that all these leaves are all fluffed up. They're all pushed up. Notice that these leaves are perfectly flat in this big oval right here. This is where a deer was laying down probably last night to take his sleep. This is a deer bed. Isn't that just amazing? There was a deer sleeping here. If I had been here 12 hours ago, I'd have been snuggling with him. Okay, probably not, he probably would have run away. But that's just fantastic. So what have we seen? We've seen, we've seen deer, armadillo, raccoon. We've seen someone's dog. We've seen great blue heron, mallard duck, Muscovy duck. We've seen great blue heron. Am I missing anything? I think I got it all. Wow, isn't that an amazing hike? And yet we really never actually saw those animals except for some of the ducks and geese. We didn't see the animals, but yet our understanding of their world by hiking around and seeing the things that are hidden from normal view by getting out and investigating, you see? Proverbs 25, 2, it's the glory of God to hide a thing, to discover that thing is the glory of kings. So get out today if you can do it. Get out into the woods or a park or uh, your backyard or even a house plant if you have a house plant. Get in there and explore, observe, notice the things around you. What are the things that God has hidden in the world around you that he wants you to find today? I can't wait to hear your stories. Leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.